and we're going to play on hard. I tried Lunatic a lot. I tried Lunatic a lot and I am surrendering. I don't know, people say this Lunatic mode would be easy, I don't think so. I really don't think this Lunatic mode would be easy. So we're going to play on hard. But the hard mode is fine. The hard mode is easy. Only Lunatic or oh, don't ask me why I can't do this. For some reason I can't do the Lunatic version of this game. It's not possible for me. Seriously, we can uh, try Lunatic after this run. But... In my opinion it's really hard. More of was that because it's so hard or was that because you just don't want to play the game? Or because... Yeah, yeah exactly. The game itself is easy but you have to... Every death is really really painful. That's exactly what this game is about. Try to get more power. I like power. Power makes me stronger. Kappa. Okay. Hi, you, you go. Hi, you, you. Oh, oh, oh. Tapping with the music, yay, always fun. Even if you don't feel that much damage then. Come on, bring it on, your attack! Okay, ghost spot, not that hard of a card. The whole fight isn't that hard. If you're on uh, hard or lunatic, she has an additional uh, spell card, and you want to save your transport spell card because resources. So you wait, you wait, you wait, you wait, and yum. Yeah, Michael food. Exactly like that. You get more resources and you can skip this very hard card and everything's fine. Stage 2 you want to start here and move to the side like this. Then go down here and start moving up. And then go to the other side and do the same thing again. Yay, 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 yay. Then you wait on this side until those fairies appear, go to the side quickly as possible. Bum, 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 bum. With unfocused and homing amulets, this is super easy. Oh, and the Yumu short type sucks. Just wanted to say it. Okay, as soon as this wave appears, I always start just hiding in the middle and trance here to 
get the super resources from those fairies. Here, homing amulets are your best friend. You want to get a lot of ghosts now. You want to get a lot of spirit back. Because you will need it. Try to get spirit back here. Doing this attack and doing the uh, spell card here. Her spell card, in my opinion, is harder on uh, hard than this on Lunatic. So maybe I will fail this. On Lunatic I will probably clear it, but on hard I will fail it. Here, this thing. I really don't like this card on hard. On normal you have a safe spot directly here where I am, where I am now. On hard you would have to move down and try to do something like that. Okay, this time it worked. Okay, like I said, you want to have uh, three ghosts before the end of the stage appears. So three, uh, three ghost things down there. You really want them and you will see why in a few seconds. I have full ghosts now, so it's perfect. Because you want to trans here. And get a lot of resources. I mean, there's a lot of resources in here. A lot of resources. You definitely want those. Definitely want those resources. Seriously. They are super. You want them. And then this thing appears. Oh god. Non spell, super scary on normal. It's Fine on every other difficulty. I hate this. Uh, every other difficulty except for easy because easy, yeah. Don't have to say anything about it. Easy is not a difficulty for me. For me, difficulties are normal, hard, and lunatic. Easy does not exist. Uh, on lower difficulties, you want to move to the side. I tried that and failed it. On normal you can try to dodge it from down there. And then this thing, oh god, I hate this. You have to look to so many sides at the same time. I always try to move a bit into the coming wave, that makes it a bit easier but not much. I don't know, I like this card on Lunatic more. On Lunatic it's more fun. On Hard it's not really that much fun. Uh, staying in one of the edges is the best thing you could do here. Here you want to stay up there, misdirect the bullet thing. Try to move to the other side now. And always... Try to misdirect them like that. So that the big bullet thing does not hit you. Okay, now I think we can already. Can we? Can we? Oh, maybe not. Oh, that was a bit too early. So that misdirect one more wave. But okay, it's fine. Easy, Momo! The latest follow thing is still broken. Give me a second. Can't I just... Ah, oh, whatever. Blah 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 blah! Next stage. Start from the side. I think they're only shooting those revenge bullets on higher difficulties. Um, proper information? What? Oh, I should stop. Oh, of course. I did a mistake. I shouldn't have killed this one there. You could try to get enough ghosts here, but I feel like it's not that easy for this section.
The only thing you really want is bomb here. No. Yeah. Okay. Important. Uh, she has a spell card here. On hard. If you're on hard, you want maybe even on normal. On hard, it's more effective, but I think on normal, you want to do that too. Get this uh, bomb piece here. Try to attack her as long as possible. As soon as he starts moving, use a bomb to quickly kill off this card. In the last few seconds of the card, you can trance and then kill quickly those fairies. I already was a little bit too late, I lost resources there. Sad face. Yeah, I always go to the side. Okay, now again, kill two of those things. Two. And then stop shooting. Just go to the other side, and no more of those fairies will appear, and it gets a lot easier. Like that. Here again, wow, that was a uh, um, panic bomb because that thing just shot right into my face. Don't come any closer, Yoshika, the boss of Kunai. Wait a second. Okay, she's the boss of Kunai. She has a lot of Kunai and nearly. Every of her attacks, I think it's only one attack without two nice. Here, go up. Makes this card way easier. Go up, don't kill the uh, the ghost on the side, and slowly scream down. When you're on the bottom, try to misdirect the bullets like that, and go back into the middle. Continue shooting her until she dies. Like that. That's how you clear this card. Uh, you definitely want to trance to get more resources. You want to trance at certain points to get the resources. Because trance doubles your resources. Okay. Poison Nail, Poison Murder, I can't really give any advice for this card. It's, I feel it's more like just read and dodge it. I don't really like this card, to be honest. Feels very read and dodge -ish. Okay, here I always tend to go to the side and let the homing amulet do the work. But that can take forever. That can really take forever. So what you basically want to do is, add, uh, if possible, try to go back under her face and just attack. Like that. Yeah. Score Desire Eater. You will hate this card. I hate this card so much. Try to go up into the lasers and grab those ghosts. That's extremely risky. The laser hitboxes are unfair. You can't hear the card like that. But if you're not on full power, or if you move wrongly through one of those lasers, that's basically it and you can't hear the card. I'm happy that I was able to clear it now. Oh, come on, no stop. Itching, thank you. Always when you want to play so. Okay, for the next stage, I think you wanted to start down here. Was it here? Yeah, exactly. You want to move like that at the bottom of the screen, and as soon as this thing ends, I always go for the music. Just fly up, collect the stuff, and then go back down like that. Exactly the same here. Kill one side, screen the other. 
Yeah, you can get bomb pieces from those things. There's no point in trancing it because you want your trance a little bit later. But you can get uh, bomb items out of, of those things. I can say exactly when you want to trance this. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Still wait for it. Still wait for it. Now! Background, you get all the resources and you get uh, trans damage on this non spell. See? I basically got all the resources and I skipped the non spell. Well, I got scared there. Okay. Again, kill one side off, stream the other side. I usually want a bomb at the end of this. Because this transition is brutal. Okay, always go up and collect all the ghosts here. You get uh, tons of ghosts out of this thing. You get tons of ghosts. Tons of ghosts. Okay, now kill two of them and uh, trans the last wave. You will get enough trans out of this uh, section earlier. Chasing balls of doom. The card isn't that hard. I just did it wrong in the attempt. But the card isn't that hard. I can show it to you later in spell practice. It's not that hard. Oh, favorite theme of this game hype incoming. Hi, uh, Sega. Say, 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 Sega, Nyan Nyan. This boss is great. Those things are aimed. Those, those football bullets. So you want to uh, stay at one position as long as uh, she shoots them. You want to follow Yoshika here. And uh, not Yoshika, uh, Sega. You definitely want to follow Sega here and ignore Yoshika. If Yoshika dies, um, bullet spam and the bullet spam is not that funny. So definitely keep attacking Sega. She should die before she can uh, revive Yoshika. You again move to the side as long as as soon as the, she stops shooting. And as long as she is shooting, stay at your position or just move a bit. Like that, can you see it? Tongling Yoshika! You want to attack Yoshika here. You definitely want to kill Yoshika here because there's no penalty for killing her. Exactly the same thing is the case. If you don't kill her, it gets harder and harder. So you definitely want to kill Yoshika during this attack. Wow. That death bomb. That death bomb though. And uh, you can kill Yoshika here, but you don't want to. If you kill Yoshika here, you're basically dead. Because the bullet storm of rage will unleash, and you want, you don't want to uh, die in that one. Tao sign, Tao Typhoon, whatever. I always like, um, I try to misdirect those balls like that. But it's a hard card in my opinion. Ah. Okay, nice. Sorry, music hype! I just love this theme so much. Seriously, that's that's my favorite theme of the uh, theme of the game. 
seriously, by far. Okay, let's just continue to the next stage. Before you think I'm a, a monkey, okay, you already think that. Yeah, right. Okay, seriously, uh, this thing is super easy. This whole stage, you don't feel a difference from normal if you're tra playing on hard. You want to kill one side of those carry things and maybe try to get some ghosts, but I already have full ghosts, so basically there's no point in that. Um, good thing that I have that many ghosts is I can transfer and more resources for me. Yay! Now the hard thing. You want to get a resource, uh, you want to get ghosts here, a lot of ghosts. And that's hard, that's really hard. You can get back to enough ghosts during this part to double your resources in the next uh, thing. But I think I don't have enough ghosts. Sad face. Nope. Okay, whatever. I basically lost some resources here because I went for the risky thing. You can get a lot of resources there if you're doing it right, but if you, you're doing it wrong, you can lose a lot of resources there. Okay, good. Goes, goes. Interesting thing, I have a trance open and I think I know where I want to use it. I think I exactly know where I want to use this trance. Don't stay at the bottom of the screen here or it will be your death. Especially not during the last two waves. For the last wave I always tend to go up here and then rotate with the pattern. Here! Save up your trance as long as possible. Because you want to kill those fairies here quick. Like that. That was the perfect uh, scenario. Okay. And then this thing appears. Whew. Mono no 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 like that. It's not that hard. See? Okay, heaven sign. You basically want to move with the ship and try to dodge on the side, but pay attention for those arrows she shoots at you. Those things are not funny. I got scared. Uh, I think it's read and dodge for the most part. It feels easy. It shouldn't be a problem. Okay, then this thing. This non spell is. The only non-spell that can kill you, in my opinion. Ah, uh, sad face. I wanted to try a no miss thing, but yeah, non-spell appeared, and then that's it. This one non-spell is not funny at all. Okay, here. Yeah, stay in the pattern and dodge the uh, amulet, it's not that hard. 
seriously, this card feels very easy. You just have to uh, keep your eye on the amulets. You have to know exactly where they are all the time. Yep, it could have been a no miss, but then uh, the not still happens. I will try this. I will try to no miss this. So I will do another la run, maybe off stream or later, and try to no miss this. Okay, now uh, techno music stage theme hype. You get tons of trance out of this thing. I always trance here just to get the uh, point value. Like seriously, wow. It's intense what you get out of this thing. And seriously, you get all the strands back before you need it again. Just look at it. Full trance again. Okay, got a lot of bombs. Yeah, that was a lot of bombs, that's true. Oh, come on, at least one life piece. Thank you. Stupid me kills all those things. But hey, okay, five lives, five bombs, that's quite nice. Toyo Sato Mimi no Miko Hype! I love this theme so much. Yeah, perfect. That was like the worst dodge I ever had in this game. Oh, at least now I got the death bomb. This thing is easy. Go to through two waves, then go back, and then go through the last wave like that. I go to through, through, through two waves, then I go back, and then through the last wave. Like that. Easy Momo. Nope. I don't like this last uh, non non thing. Non spell. Okay, here you I never really worked out how this works. I always try to improvise this. It's something with misdirection of those ghosts. Sometimes it works, sometimes I die. Yep, this time I die. Feels like I need a little bit more practice for uh, for your Satomi Mi fight. Nope, scared. Super fun card. Always look where the uh, holes and pattern are and then move with it. Super, super fun card. Now, uh, hi Eric! This thing feels like a static pattern, but uh, randomly aimed. 
But most of the time it's fine. Especially on normal, this card is super easy. This card is... I hate this card. I usually just use a bomb for it and that's it. You always have to keep in mind that those lasers are moving into one direction every time. So you can dodge them by just, yeah, move away from them. The other thing is those amulets, and those amulets are the hard stuff, because they don't disappear. They continue, like, moving, and they get even faster. And that's the hard thing about this card. Okay, final card. Yeah. I don't have to say anything about this. It's super easy. Move up and down. If you have to, use a bomb during the second phase, but that's basically it. Simple up and down streaming. I got walled a little bit there. She's not bomb immune. Just saying that, she's not bomb immune during this card. Especially the last phase isn't hard at all. Yeah. Basically nothing about it. Yeah, um, was a good run and then uh, mono mo mono mo no futo happened. Blah blah blah. And now the great ending theme. <clears throat> wow, that was nearly a, a Eden Teaches. I talked a lot about this game. A lot. A lot. But I think I won't upload it as a uh, Read and Teaches. Because. Oh, I could. I could upload it as a Read and Teaches. You know what? That was a Read and Teach because. Seriously, I talked so much about the game, I got I gave, I, so many hints. I will put this on YouTube as a uh, Rhythm Teachers. Yeah. So if you watch that on YouTube, you just uh, realize that it was like completely spontaneous. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, that's it for the video. Thank you very much for watching. On Twitch, of course, we'll stream a bit more. But that's it for YouTube, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time. Okay. <laughs> I will cut with the... <laughs> Was the best 